Tonight's special segment, Searching Your Searcher. It's estimated to happen about 50 million times a day. Someone Googles a proper name. Could be yours. ABC 7's Alan Krzyzewski found new technology that can help you figure out who is searching for you and your website profiles. You got that now? Who's searching for whom okay, now? Who's okay. who? <laughs> all right. Cheryl and Ron, well, in today's online networking generation, it's important to know who is looking at all of those professional and social websites that it seems like everybody's putting up. Well, this new internet technology is known as visitor tracking, but searching your searcher raises privacy concerns for some people who thought that their surfing was anonymous. Who doesn't want to know if people are Googling them? It's kind of like caller ID for the Internet. Katie May says she felt empowered when she was able to figure out who was checking her out. It makes me feel like I'm, I'm spying a little bit. This Lakeview resident says she used visitor tracking technology to figure out that a former friend was repeatedly Googling her and clicking on one of her personal website profiles. He works for a university and all these searches were coming from that university. Valuable information to her because she says the same guy was also sending her inappropriate emails. These visitor tracking services can be downloaded to social and professional networking profiles and it's already built into others. You shouldn't actually think that just because you're on the web you're completely anonymous. Depending on the service you may even get your searchers full name if they're logged into the same site. All the tracking services provide the city and state where the searcher lives along with the time of the search. They also show you the specific terms that were used to look for you in search engines. Some services can show you the searcher's IP address. That's the number specifically assigned to their computer. Or you might be able to learn the internet service provider that the searcher is using. Uh, that could be Comcast or even the place where the searcher works. All of this can help you determine who is looking at you, whether it's a prospective employer or maybe even a recent date. Names.com here in Chicago and Zigs.com both offer visitor tracking. So when someone types in your name to search about you and clicks on your profile, you get a visitor tracking alert. Right now, with enough separate pieces of information, you can tie all that together and identify somebody right down to you know, either a location or a particular identity. Leslie Reese is the director of the Center for Information Technology and Privacy Law at the John Marshall Law School. She says it also opens the door to internet privacy issues. Transparency is the real issue. What a particular website is doing with your information, what information a particular website is collecting about you, how long they're keeping it, how they're using it, and who they're sharing it with is the real issue. It seems like we have to go more and more out of our way to protect our privacy. Ziggs.com's visitor tracking does not supply names or IP addresses. Its creator says the service isn't just about who is looking, but knowing how many people may be interested in your life. It's really nice to know when you're in the midst of having conversations with people, whether they be professionally or personally, that someone has actually gone to your, your page and taken a look at the information. But even Katie May has to admit there's a flip side to all of this. It weirds me out a little bit to know that, that someone that I'm searching can know that I'm searching them. Now, most of these tracking services are free. Uh, there are some that charge a small monthly fee as a premium member on their networking sites. The police, though, have been using this technology for years to catch online criminals. Of course, in their case, the police can subpoena IP address information from the Internet providers. Then they're able to get the exact names and locations of the users. But Ron and Cheryl, you never know who's looking up you, who might be looking up them. So I know that you, you know that I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. That you're looking up me. That's right. All right. Thank you, Alan. Well, get a wind chill advisor.